Friends, welcome to another podcast. This time we don't have a buzz in. We have Nicole. Nicole, we got anything to say for your、uh, greetings? No. Okay, so we're mostly going to talk about E3 and stuff. And you didn't like this E3, right? It wasn't that I didn't like it. Overall, it had some good things, but the individual conferences. None were extremely good, in my opinion. There was good announcements, but there wasn't enough new good announcements. Everything else was just showing us more, but was announced back last year. I see. And、um, do you have like a favorite、um, E3、um, press conference? I can't say I have a favorite press conference. What I have favorite announcements, things that got me like the most excited, because even if I like even if a conference is going well, then they just like show something else. And, well, never mind. I guess. I mean, Sony's probably if you want to boil down to it and get all technical, it was the best, but it still wasn't great. If you know what I mean. Yes. Yes. For myself, I only watch、um, Sony and、uh, Microsoft, but I say well, then of、Sony. course you think Sony won. <laughs> yeah, I mean Microsoft with its console launch exclusive. Oh yeah, and all that exclusive stuff Microsoft was saying, even though we get, we get the skin on a PC.、Um, <laughs> Nothing of it is exclusive. Basically, anything good they showed, can't wait to get it on PC. You know, um, well, also another thing they keep saying how they the S box one S is that what they call it,、mm-hmm. being the most po- uh con- most powerful console there is. Well, th- it's going to get outdated in the next generation, and basically already is because PCs, c- you know, already runs better than it. Obviously, PCs are always going to be better than the consoles. I mean, performance wise, obviously. Yeah. But they do always get those console exclusives, which is what I have my PS3 for, PS3, like Persona Five, and I'm looking at the clock, and you know, Infamous. Those are about the only things I go back to back playing on here for Bizarre Adventure. I see. Um. So, what what's your like favorite、uh, announcements? Favorite announcements. Well, out of the new games that they announced this year, I'd have to say probably Beyond Good and Evil Two, just because I didn't play the first one. I had no idea it existed, and then I saw that and it looked really good, weird, new for a change. Even if it's a second, it's a sequel to a game, I don't see anything like it. I actually don't know about this Beyond Good and Evil stuff. Well, what if we? Oh, okay. Um. So it's okay if we watch a trial of it because、yeah. I come and take a look. So I'll, I'll get some up up here. Oh wait, this wasn't with the Sony's conference. This was with Ubisoft's conference. Whoops, I knew it was one of the two.、Oh, Ubisoft,、okay. yeah. It, it's a serious mistake people can make. So this is seven minutes. So that's. Are they going to show some gameplay? Um, I don't believe they showed gameplay. It was just a trailer that they talked about it for a bit. But there might be a game. Oh, so yeah, I never、Rafa. heard this game before. I don't deal with domesticated. Hey, the fuck! I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy.、Mm. Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Yo yo yo! Hand it over. I got a hot date. Who don't do late? Do you know who <laughs> these are one of the main、Mark、coaches? No idea, but I certainly hope they are. Mwah. What? Oh, it's a fake. What? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, pig. Bon appetito. Because I like that guy so far. I want every fucking 
cop in this fucking city after that fucking bastard! Damn, he cuts as much as I do. Grab my chassis, Noxy! Okay, this game is kind of getting my attention. Fuck me. Isn't it like every console? Damn. Um, well, it's gonna be the South console, so I expect it's gonna be like a one. Oh, shit, they just steal a cop car, or a cop sip. Oh my, that's fucking make us both sick. I kind of wonder what the graphics going to be, because I, I doubt this is going to be this high graphics. Oh, there's no way it would be this high. Yeah, well, I This looks like a movie. Know. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> bloody time. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Moksha. Just as Yama described it. So, I guess these are pirates, and they're after treasure. True freedom lies beyond. And my best guess, you, you either play as the monkey, or um, the monkey is going to be part of story mode, and you play as somebody else, you know? This doesn't seem like a game that has multiplayer, in my opinion. I, I gotta check out the first game, actually, because I don't know what the first game even is, or about. Yeah, me either. I'll take a quick look at it later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to all the teams who worked very, very, very hard on creating all, all this, all this world. Uh, again, thank you to all these, these teams behind us. I want also to say thank you to Eve, with all my heart. <laughs> Thanks, Eve, for making this happen. This is, this is just amazing. Uh, and also, a special thanks to the fans of Beyond Good and Evil for sticking with us for so long. It's about bloody time. 15 years. When the director goes, you know, beyond <laughs> good and evil, I kind of wonder if there's choices. So welcome to System 3. Our story takes place before the birth of Jade, in a multi-ethnic, multicultural human society in a distant solar system. It is a time when corporations create hybrids in their labs and enslave them to colonize the stars in order to compete for power and cosmic resources. With our crew of crazy and unforgettable characters, we fight in the name of freedom and the right to determine our own fate among the stars. And we will hail massive star-faring vessels through territories as spectacular as they are dangerous. We've been working very hard um, just on the technology. During it's going to be years. very interesting. I, I got to turn on the first game and see the mechanics and stuff. Where we can travel across space at the speed of light. We can explore mysterious cities and discover unknown lands by ourselves or with friends. And we want you 
to participate in the making of this great adventure. Join our Space Monkey program. <laughs> Today, and help us make beyond good and evil a world that will challenge us and bring us together for thousand adventure, thrills and fun. And um, please, if just join, join us. us, this is. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, you guys. You know, Gabriel and Michelle, you've done a fantastic job. It's amazing what uh, I've been, you have been able to achieve. And you and I, um, and all the teams, um, have the power of creating games that will amaze all the gamers. And I think video games can help us to grow and to get better. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so, um, you got any notes about, uh, that? Not really. I'm wondering, I'm wondering what that Space Monkey program is. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, 15 years ago, the first game was made. So. 15? That's what that guy said. He said, it won't I didn't, I didn't call that. Time. Wow. 15 years, yeah. So. So that, that this, this game might be on the PS3 away. or something, or or it be even be PS2. I don't know. Um, huh? I probably would have been on the PS2. Damn, that's pretty crazy. I do say. Um, any other things you want to say about uh any of the other announcements? Uh, they announced a Pokemon RPG game that was going to be coming into Switch. There wasn't any gameplay or trailer or anything. They just said it's going to be in development. Now. Always we used to game new games for the Switch. That's uh that's pretty good, I guess. Because you know, there's hardly any games for it. Nintendo's conference was actually pretty good. Pretty good in terms of Nintendo. Okay. So uh I just, I got one game to bring to the table. Hi. So in um Microsoft, when they announced As Assassin's Creed Origins, what was your thoughts about that? I was like, yeah, Assassin's Creed. Can you get this time? Please. To be honest, I'm, I am a big fan of Assassin's Creed games, but it's just that, like, when, when I was looking at this one, I, the mechanics they were showing, how, like, you could, um, uh, become an eagle and spar your enemies way much more easier. And how you could also control your arrows. That's kind of making the game way too much more easier now. So. Hell, I, I might even play the game on a hard mode or something, but if I get it, because uh, it seems to make Assassin's Creed games more easier <laughs> at, um, after these years. So that's kind of like my sort of thoughts about it. Um, oh yeah, one one thing I do uh, really like about the Microsoft uh, conference is that when they announced the Xbox uh, backward compat compat, <laughs> I ever say the word. Uh, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, I don't know what um, you know how like Microsoft is making old games be compatible. Oh yeah, with, mm -hmm. yeah. Like and Xbox to Xbox One X. That's that was a game changer, but it's still not. <laughs> that sucks. That was yeah. like the best part of their whole conference. I mean, it's it's actually really crazy. They made over three hundred and fifty games so far that's compatible. Which uh, I was actually impressed because you know that's a lot. I, I'm just I'm just kind of wondering if there's like any glitches with this because I don't know how like um how this kind of stuff really works and how they actually like you know we program these games to be more you know it's compatible with these new controls and stuff. But um, mm. but oh yeah, one thing that really kind of uh like worried me is that uh do you know they actually adding like, a wicked coin device to the Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. And like that that's kinda of bad because if that you know if that um wicked coin device breaks, the, the whole Xbox is done. Yeah, they really have to work on that. And also, how big is that power brick gonna be? 
Do you remember the original Xbox One power whip? It was uh, bigger than a foot. Like a person's actual foot, it was bigger than that. I see. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that. If you ever were playing for like an hour or so, you could put your foot on it and just get a little, little, you know, heat massage. <laughs> essentially, because it was so big. It just got really hot. I wouldn't do it. I pretty sure I got rid of that in the Xbox One S. Because I had one for a bit. Yeah, I had one for a bit. And okay. I mean, it didn't have it there. But, uh, Pause real quick. All right. So, um, back to discussing with the wicked coin device. I'm like, I'm really, really like they should maybe give a more routine for that because like, what if someone drops it, or um, you know, out of nowhere, it, it just breaks, and that destroys the whole device. I feel like this should be a warranty, so just in case that happens, then you know they could. Get I it. never actually thought about that, but there's definitely going to be a bit of issues if this isn't really, really secured inside. Since there's a liquid pulling device, because if that busts or anything, it's done. And so also, the yeah. PS4 has a lot of problems. Okay, my PS4 has tons of problems. Technically, really? it does. Uh, yeah, it, I've had four PS4s. Oh, And they've wow. all ended up dying. I don't do anything. I don't hit them or pour anything on them. But at one point, they just turn on and won't turn back on. There's a lot that- of things you can do to fix it. But you always okay. have to get inside the machine and like mess with things and switch it up. Yeah, there's one thing that fixes it. You have to like take this plate off and put a couple of in there and put the plate back on. But regardless, Xbox One, I've never heard anything about that. If it's dead, it's just dead. There's no going inside and fixing it. And especially with this Xbox One X, it's got liquid cooling. People going inside and trying to mess with the stuff. Well, that ain't going to happen. And also, I think there's something else about how if you open up your S-Box, you cannot turn it back or whatever. Um, but oh yeah, it's it, like that with the PS4. You void the warranty, uh, but like, would you rather okay. void the warranty or have your system working again? You, you know, like for like for my experiences and stuff, when I first got a PS4, and this was back when it first came out, mm-hmm. uh, it was working for like the first week, and then it just stopped working. It turned on, then turned off. And I did, you know, research, mm-hmm. and I heard that um this was, like, a glitch, and the only way to fix it is, that, is to update your PS4, but, you know, it's too late. But my second PS4, I have no problems with it ever, you know, just besides game crashing sometimes, but that's very real, you know? Well, my first PS4 is a regular model on, I think, I, no, I saw the box, it was a white model. With the Destiny bundle. Oh, okay. And that ended up dying. Damn. And I got a regular black one. And that ended up dying. And I, like, borrowed my mom's for a bit. That one ended up going out, too. It's then just... I got the Uncharted one. Uncharted limited edition with the... Did that die, too? Drake on the side. No, I still have that one. Oh, it happens okay. sometimes, but uh, I... Just learn how to fix it at this point. Cause, cause I, I don't want to go like, no, Uncharted, please don't die. But, um, but yeah, one thing about the Xbox One X, like, I'm just like, afraid, cause like, you know, there's a lot of kids that buy Xboxes and stuff, and I'm just afraid, like, what if, you know, these kids drop it or just leave it on for a hell of a long time? Stuff like that, cause they, you know, they don't really know better, or just, you know, just by accident. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that could really, you know, you know, mess with the wiggle coin device and bust it. Cause, yeah. So, I'm not sure what to say really about, you know, it's wiggle coin devices. It keeps your devices, you know, cooled, but it comes with a big risk of destroying everything. Mm-hmm. So, I am not sure what they're going to do about it and what so. But, anyways, I think that's uh, all I have to say about S Bot's uh, view. Anything else? No, that's it for me. Okay. On the Xbox, at least. So, what about uh, the Switch? Huh? Oh, the Switch? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know too much. Was that in the, was that in the Microsoft uh, thing? About the Switch? <laughs> no, the Switch is for Nintendo. Nintendo, sorry. I, I didn't watch the E3 Nintendo. Um, what did they say about it? 
Um, they're just kind of announced nice some new games for it. Uh, none of them are really new. Obviously, if you think about it, you could probably guess what games are coming out. My Odyssey actually looks pretty, pretty damn good, if I do have to say so myself. Um, looks like it'll be fun. There's a new Yoshi game coming, obviously. It's gonna be a lot of, you know, Nintendo trope games, but I'm hoping this is their console that they actually find a way to get right. But the thing is, I also want it to be really portable, because it is portable, so I want them to be able to develop a lot of portable games for that. Yeah, I'm just like a little worried about the shirts, and uh, I'm I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, the sides of it could come off, right? You mean like the controllers on the side? Yeah. Yeah, you can plug it into the dock, and then it you play it on the uh, TV, or you can take it out of the dock, plug those in, and then One it's a portable that, system. One thing that worries um, me about it, because, like, let's just say, uh, real kids, for example, like, they could, like, lose those devices, because those are pretty small devices, you know? Mm. Like, it could be, like, anywhere. I, I, even, like, on the go, like, you'd be walking or something, or maybe you're in the store, and let's just say, um, you put the, the little control thing down in, like, the cart or whatever, and it fell through the bars or something, or, you know, just it, it just got left there, and can can those even be replaced? Yeah, you can buy them for like sixty bucks. Sixty, wow. Well, that's how much a controller for you know, PlayStation or whatever it is. It is ridiculous how small they are and everything, but what are you gonna do as a company? Yeah. So um, let's see. Oh yeah. So um. Life is Strange 2 is coming out. Uh, I forgot when. Oh, yeah. Now, I heard Life is Strange, um, you know, the first game was pretty damn good. I haven't finished it because I've been distracted with other stuff. Um, mm. But, yeah. I, I never just, played I, it. Really? Mm. You want me to play it together? Because I heard the ending is a bomb. I don't know. Cause like people keep I, telling I me, I watched it's someone so play a couple episodes of it, but I never finished it. I see. Cause like, cause like a lot of people, they kept telling me that it's a fantastic game, like the whole story and everything. And I kept hearing like the endings, like for each episode, was such a, like a cliffhanger or just something very crazy. And mm. it, it's like, damn, I won't be part of this experience. But you know, I got other things to work on. But you know, maybe if we have time, we could uh, play together or something. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure which Wolf one come, uh, want to come because he, he had to, uh, watch it on YouTube. He, like, he got, like, so excited with each episode. He kept, he kept telling me, like, um, I think episode four, I, I, it was, that, like, it was something really crazy and such a cliffhanger. And it's like, which Wolf, don't watch episode five if it comes out. When it came out, he watched it. I was like, god damn it. <laughs> well, so, of course yeah, he's gonna. It must be it must be a fucking crazy game, like so I really need to play it and Life is Strange two. I'm pretty sure it's actually a uh, prequel. Yeah, it is. It's a prequel. Comes before, because in Life is Strange, there's a character I don't remember much at all about what I watched from Life is Strange, but I do remember there was a character named Rachel in uh, Max's past, and Rachel's in this game. Yeah, I remember I saw uh, the trail or something like that, and uh, there was like a, like a car crash, so it's going to be a emotional wreck, as I could imagine, this uh, prequel. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts about it. Um, you finished too? Life's Strange too, yeah. Alright, and um, do you know about um, Ashen? Ashen. It's like Dark Souls, but it has like oh. very low graphics and like no faces from the characters. I saw that, but I don't remember a lot about it, but yeah. That was it interesting? The, uh, I, I didn't catch my entirely, but I saw people talking about the Defender on Twitter and everything. What was that other game that's supposed to be like Dark Souls, but with anime weeble characters instead? Oh, Code Bane. Yeah, that, I had to be following it for a while. It's actually based on an anime um, called, called uh, God Eater. I watched the anime. 
it's fucking good. And when I saw some of the gameplay of the Code Vein, mm-hmm. uh, the weapons was was very similar and stuff. So that that's actually pretty damn nice. Um, because like in the anime, it, like there's all kinds of stuff where like the weapons could transform, and do and it could it could go from swords to guns. And if you're out ammo, you could turn the uh weapon into like a um. Kind of like a, like a monster head and it grabs onto an enemy and eats them and it refills your ammo. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to do the same in the game too, so it's, it's gonna be fucking fun. I'm definitely going with the minigun, if they have a minigun, um, in the game. So, yeah, it's, that's going, that, I'm definitely buying that. But, um, real quick about, uh, Ashton. It's, it's kind of like a downgraded Dark Souls in my opinion, like with the graphics and stuff. But it does have like a kind of like a neat, creepy atmosphere. I'm not sure if they're going to as they give uh, the guys faces and stuff, but it kind of adds to the creepy a- atmosphere in my opinion. Don't you say? Yeah, a good bit actually. Like, they don't have eyes, they don't have faces. They're the looking. I mean, but most of it, it it's actually co-op too, because oh. uh, it kept showing two. Two guys, um, you know, fighting and stuff. So that's gonna be pretty nice because in Dark Souls, you know, there is co-op, but like it's basically helping a guy in your world. But I feel like in this game, it's gonna be like the same world, and um, you don't have to go to each others and you know play deal bosses and stuff. I like have like Dark Souls go. So um, yeah. So yeah, that's my uh. Opinions about. But I yeah, just um, looked it up real quick to remind myself what it was. Yeah, this was this an exclusive for Microsoft. I uh, I uh, I didn't write it down, so I I don't know. But um, about Code Bane, do you have any uh thoughts about that? Let me let me look it up real quick just to remind myself mostly what it was. Okay, just uh, just give you uh something about Cobain, the gameplay and stuff they sold in the in the trailer. It it was the same trailer they sold a uh, a while ago, so mm. nothing new to uh to it yet, I guess. Top comment for the trailer: Finally, I will be able to kill other players in the name of my wife. <laughs> I didn't know Tyler was commenting. <laughs> the only thing I really hope. Is that this game doesn't sixty dollars? Oh yeah, hmm. maybe forty. I can. I mean, I, I usually like to buy games when they're on sale and stuff because um, it makes it more easy for me because I like to buy all the other games too. <laughs> you know, just do every playthrough, each mm-hmm. game comes out, even though the game Whoa, is bad. Whoa, Bloodborne. Hmm. What about Bloodborne? This sounds like the exact story to Bloodborne. What's game? Code Vein? Code Vein. I'm reading the subtitles for the game. The trailer is just going along. It says the, pi- the price of power of bloodlust. The whole thing of Bloodborne is that people have gotten mad with blood trying to get power, trying to get closer to oh. these things called the um, what's it called? the Great Ones. They're trying to become more like them so they deal with blood and uh, okay, blood that, exchange yeah, and things similar. like that. And also, something that's swinging back to me, I think in Code Vein, um, something about if you get, like, too much blood or something, you turn into a wild beast, so. What, you heard that in Code Vein? Yeah, I think so. That exactly happens in Bloodborne. Like, not to you, but if you're mad with blood, with mad with bloodlust, you can become a monster, and if that's, like, one of the DLC boss, like, the first DLC boss, that's him. Kind of crazy, I mean... Like, like you said, I'm pretty sure Cobain is based on the anime God Eater, and mm. I'm not sure when God Eater even came out, so. Uh, where, where was we again? Talking about Cobain. Yeah, Cobain. So, uh, uh, you got any more thoughts about it? No, I'm just alarmed. I didn't realize how everything I saw was pretty much a white to a bubble one. I mean, that's not a bad thing. At all. Because it's a really good, interesting storyline. I'm pretty interested in the gameplay, so... Mm-hmm. I I just haven't seen much about it. I don't have much of Microsoft conference. If you want me to be honest. Alright. So, um... I guess, next topic. So, mm-hmm. yeah, one one thing me and the version was hoping for was The Last of Us 2. 
but it didn't sell well, everybody anything. Was. You yeah. got Days Gone, that's it. <laughs> yeah, Days Gone, um, I'll talk, to, talk about that in a second. And also, we didn't hear anything about Death Stranding. Do you know about Death Stranding? Oh, that's right. I never realized that. Is yeah, there an like, announcement date? Like, not announced. Is there a release date for that yet? No, I'm pretty sure there, there isn't. And we still have no idea what the game is about. There's two trailers, but it, it really shows, like, it's super confusing, but it involves a baby. Like, that's what I could say about it. But, um, uh, yeah, anyways, Days Gone. You're not too much of a fan about post apocalypse games, right? No, I mean, sure, they can be good. I mean, for myself, I'm a very big fan. I mean, you know, I love The Last of Us, and it's my favorite game, but, yeah, Days Gone, um, I think I share my thoughts about mostly in the E3 reaction, but yeah, I'm I'm very excited for it, and seeing, like, all the stuff you could do, like, throwing up walls, when the zombies pour in and kill all the guys and stuff, that's kind of like mm -hmm. gameplay mechanics I really like, and it also has stealth, too, so that's very nice, too, and, um, yeah, and they actually have zombie animals too. Games don't really do that. Zombie animals, here we are. Oh yeah, the bear. Yeah, like the zombie bear, and also there was zombie wolves. That bear too. had barbed wire. Yeah, and it, it looks like... familiar too. I think, <laughs> I think it remind me of, um, something I saw on Netflix. It was, a uh, Nation Z. There was, I mean, there was an episode about a zombie bill, but I don't remember if the zombie bill had barbed wire, but I remember there was, like, skins to tore off and stuff of it. Um, but yeah, that's, like, like, that's... Barbed wire, nails, planks yeah. of wood, all his bird. Like, how is he still alive? <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's so strange, because zombie animals make sense, you know? Because, like, a virus to affect animals first before it affects humans. And, um... And I think The Last of Us 2 might have zombie animals too, because people was analyzing the trailer, and there was like scratch marks on trees and stuff, like, like, bill scratch marks, so there might be zombie bills and stuff in The Last of Us 2. 2, like, 2 as a number, and 2 T O O. I, I, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's kind of strange to say that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's gonna be very exciting, because... Cause I, uh, you know, I like that, and it also it's it gets very really brutal too. Days gone, cause like the guy serving that one guy and mm -hmm. like fucking choking the other guy with a rope. I, I really like that too, and and how they also did the ambush, how he was running his motorcycle and just got ambushed by that, um, rope. Yeah, so, I I enjoyed the part of it where it was like I don't care about these other people. I'm trying to survive. I'm going to survive. No zombie games or whatever are just like. No, we're both humans. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Let's not fight. And then they all get fucked over later for it. It's stupid. But there is, like, you know, uh, it seems that there is, like, um, villages and, you know, groups in the game, mm -hmm. though, which I do enjoy, because, you know, communities Oh, no, yeah, that's what I mean, sense. like... Yeah, but, like, when it comes to, like, known survivors and stuff, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll do anything just to kill you or something like that, so, you know, we turn them the favor, kill them too. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I fucking, like, just, I, still, I love the, the trail, like, the ending of it, just showing the zombie bail out of nowhere, <laughs> fucking, like, mini boss coming up. So, like, I, I kind of wonder if that's gonna actually be a boss, or is this gonna be a mini boss, and it'll be, like, a bunch of zombie bails around. But yeah, I'm actually very skilled uh, of those, like, zombie wolves. Because like, it's cool to see how there's, like, quick time events when you're riding a motorcycle and you just shoot the uh, mm -hmm. zombie wolf. I like that, but uh, I'm kind of afraid of how they're going to be, like, on ground. And I also wonder how many weapons they're going to be. Like, are there going to be a lot of melee weapons or a lot of guns? Definitely there's a lot of gadgets, like, from build traps to C4 and uh, all kinds of other stuff, but, and even walks. I like that. Like, you can fill walks. <laughs> Such every, classic. Every, game, every game, game should have that. Oh, Far Cry. Did you see um, the trailer for Far Cry? I don't remember which conference it was. I, hmm. I don't think I saw the Far Cry stuff. And the sad truth is, I never played Far Cry 4 because... Um, it's alright. Right. If you play Far Cry 3, then you're not missing much. Okay, cool. Cause like, um, you see, Witcher Wolf has Far Far Cry Four. I don't, and I was hoping like me and him could do like a co-op let's play or something like that. 
Yeah, because Far Cry 4 is the one game you can play the whole series. There's two people and it's cool. Yeah, I like that. And wait, do you have Far Cry 4? Not for PC. Ah, huh, don't. <laughs> um. Well, yeah. Um, it it looked pretty cool too. Even though it's, I guess, it came out a few years ago, it still looks very nice. Like the gameplay aspect. Mm-hmm. Far Cry Primal was the first Far Cry that was actually like a different kind of concept. It was pretty oh fun. yeah, I forgot about that game. Yeah, it has that, um, like you know, um, caveman vibe to it. But um. In Far Cry 4, you can buy elephants, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, good, because I, I kind of remember that. I was like, In Far Cry Primal, you can ride save the truth tigers. Oh, shit. <laughs> and it's, wait, it's about anything big enough. Is, Pri- is Primal a uh, co-op? I'm not so sure. I believe it could be, but I don't you know. It could easily be wrong. See, okay. Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 3, they're almost the same thing. They've got the same mechanics. You're a guy in an island, you're stranded, you have to fight for this rebel cause, you have to claim outposts and everything, but Primal, it's, like, way back, way back in, like, you know, not even cavemen, like, before cavemen, I'd like to say, but I don't really know the actual historical part of it. There's, like, dinos- dinosaurs and stuff, right? And Primal, there's not dinosaurs. Oh. It's just, like, same piece tigers and mammoths and things like that. Okay. But what I'm saying is, Primal has a whole different gameplay than the other Far Cry games have. Yeah, because it has, like, bows and stuff? No, because it, you're not doing the same thing. You're, like, setting up a tribe. You're going out and doing, like, jobs for people so they will come and trust you and they'll become part of your tribe. And you're building uh. this village, and you have to get all the resources for it. Like, it's still very obviously a Far Cry game, but it's actually a different gameplay than the same repeating thing. Kill these guys, do the cause, whatever. There's two enemy tribes, and you have to go and you know take over their places. But it's it's just different because you're not. I really enjoy it. And you yeah, also I, I really need to. Um, I, I need to play those games, but I, I have so much on my plate, you know, mm-hmm. so much games to cover. Um. Yeah. So uh, I guess I guess we could talk about Sea of Thieves. Yeah. The pilot game? Yeah. Do you like it? It's not my game. I, I thought it very funny how I saw that guy getting shot on the canyon. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. And, and and just the movements too is I, I just I just kind I just really like it. It fits with the the style and the cartoon style too, it's pretty nice. It it seems like a funny game too, like just like, be able to travel yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is it's very heavily a multiplayer game, so what happens if people get bored of it and you want to go back and play it? You're just going to be alone in the scene, there's not going to be anything fun to do. I just, yeah, I kind of wonder about this stuff. So, like, can you build a pilot ship, or, hmm, or, or can you, like, even upgrade it? And the multiplayer, I kind of wonder how it's, it's going to look, what's like Guard Dogs 2, how people will just come in your server anytime mm-hmm. without even no loading screens or something. Or yeah. is this going to be like one server full of many pirates and stuff? So I'm not sure what's going to be like, but it looks pretty funny how like from the sharks and uh, just the guns and um, shooting cannons. I like I'm actually impressed how much cannons that like they were shooting per second, just destroying the boats. But yeah, it, it was pretty nice, and uh, it was really cool too to see how they was getting that. Tre- Treasure chest, and uh, there was a bunch of skeletons, and then the pirate ship just fire a canyon and destroy. A yeah, wards. it'll definitely be fun. It's just you know, I hope it doesn't rely on all of those people to be fun. Yeah, because if it does, then it'll die pretty quick. True, true. It, it was pretty exciting. I do admit, like, with, like all the stuff you could do, like with your teammates and stuff. Like, all right, matey, skeletons are horrid. Shoot them down. So. <laughs> Yeah. Shoot you know, if, down. <laughs> if, you know, it'd be pretty fun if, like, a whole crew plays it. You know, like, we'd be, like, the best pilots. Like, all of us playing the game. Like, you know, me, pirates, me and you, Haiku, which one of the others is, like, we just all just become pilots and, like, alright, you know what we should do? Cross our pirate ship into the pirate ship. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's gonna be pretty funny, man. 
I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be microphones. I hope there's microphones because I would just abuse the wall playing aspect of it. Oh, can you just imagine like you you're just talking to someone and it was they were actually Chinese and like ah oh, what what do we do? Shoot Chinese pirates! I oh man, it's like pirates kill being back up in this. Oh yeah. Yeah, you remember how those like chi Chinese pirates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the third one or whatever. Um, it, it, I feel like it's it's gonna be pretty fun at launch, and yeah, I I want to you know get these games fast as possible because it's the most fun. But at they're the all in twenty eighteen. Yeah. Is is CSC is actually twenty eighteen or is it? I think so. Like, those are all games coming out to AZ Team. It's crazy. Um, I'm surprised more games didn't get announced for the holiday season, in all honesty. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. B back to the, uh, with a point about the games and stuff. Cause, like, mm -hmm. when it comes to, like, any multiplayer game, it's best to play it at launch because there'll be a lot of new people and you'll figure out all this funny new stuff or this crazy mechanics and, you know, weapons and blah, blah. And mm -hmm. plus, it'll be overpopulated too. And it's the best aspect of any multiplayer game. Anybody could agree on that. But when it comes further down the road, it dies down. But it's different for stuff like modding. Uh, I was going to make a sample as like GTA. But even that, do you know what's happening with the GTA modding? No, I heard that something happened. I didn't look into it at all, so I don't really know what's going on. It, Did they, like, cancel very, it? It's very crazy. I'll explain in a second. But do you know about the role-playing mod? I know about the role-playing server. Told me about it, but I never watched it. Yeah, it, it was getting way much more popular, and people would just play as cops, or just, like, random criminals. And they, they, it would be very fun, because the cops would be like, so, I saw you going past that street right. What's your excuse? Uh, uh, fuck you, coppers! And just, it, it's pretty funny. The, the role playing is super, it, like, it, um, what's the word? Uh, it's, it creates a lot of emotion into it. Like, people really taste the role playing seriously, and it's getting really, very really, um, popular. But recently, something very bad happened. Mods are now becoming illegal. I'm and. Sorry. Oh, and Open4, which is a modding program, um, people use to mod Mass Paint 3, GTA 4, and GTA 5. Um, if you launch it up, it will say uninstall now or uninstall later. Like, you cannot mod anymore because it's which illegal. And I oh. think it has something to do with, um, in Germany. Um, I think there were like some people, um, using it in a diff, like, for, in a long way for like online, I think. And messing up the stuff like one of one of the things that's messing up is the free money getting around because that's ruin that ruins the comedy uh for for these types of games you know like uh they relies on people to buy sort cards which is in game money but then you know you could get this trillion dollars around paying a thousand dollars for that you just get it for free it kind of is in comedy but I think there's other things involved instead of just that um I just so. It should not have been such a grind in that game. GTA Online had Very a true. ton the of DLCs potential. And it stuff. was fun. Yeah, it, it was, was. It was fun, pretty fun. But you needed too much money to do anything. Yeah, all these but, DLCs came out so much money and blah blah. Like, it was like they they made this for like for like the fucking hackers, you know, or the people with the bunch of money. Yeah. I mean, wow, it's. It, it's getting awful, and the, and when the role play mod came out, people got way much more back into it, and I saw some very funny moments online on Twitch and stuff, people mm -hmm. playing it, and it, it was it was it was pretty funny too. Like just, huh, it, it's it's hard to explain. It's more just so you know gameplay and stuff, but um, but now it's mods are being illegal, and that, that really sucks. I mean. I can imagine, you know, mods are not allowed for online and mods be uh, good for single player, but now it just becomes all illegal and that's... Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, and there, there was a lot of mods for the game too, so I'm not sure if, like, the GTA stuff is going to detect it and then, like, ban you or, or um, 
or the, or the websites are just going down and stuff. I mean, before GTA uh used to have like even like links on the forums that leads to good mods and stuff. But now because of all this stuff back in I think Germany that is causing they ha they had no choice but they had but it's legal. The court made it legal and they can't do anything about it. Um. It's a crazy situation. I I, I try to explain. <laughs> I mean, like when when the when the fucking government say, "Hey, this is illegal," you can't do anything about it. But you know, like you just gotta say, "Hey, everybody, we're very sorry about this, but mods are illegal now." And I'm sorry know. about this. Now you have to get arrested. <laughs> and I think there's like some other stuff too. I I'm forgetting, but that's mostly the main thing about it. Um, you, you could look up more information about it, um, mm. online. Um, people are talking about it and explaining it probably better than I am. Um, yeah. But, um, let's see. Last game up my sleeve I could, um, remember is, uh, the new Spider Man game. The Spider Man game looks great, actually. I'm excited for that. It, it was really surprising. All the mechanics, um, you could do in the environment is pretty damn nice. And the scene, like that helicopter holding that box thing, smashing mm -hmm. onto buildings and being destructible, that's amazing, like how much destructible environments there is. And we was kind of hoping, like me and Rosie was hoping that this isn't scripted or anything. We had to hope this is, um, you know, in game stuff. So, um, yeah, that'd be pretty damn nice. And, and also, Wilson said that there's gonna be a lot of buildings to go into, so that's pretty cool too. Oh, yeah. See, so yeah, the Spider-Man game. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of Spider-Man, I admit, but this game does. Spider-Man's actually nice. my favorite superhero. Really, mine's just my might be Batman. Uh, I just, I guess I just like how. You know, Batman with all the scats and stuff. I mean, because mm -hmm. I just watched a lot of nice shows. Like, you know, as an artist, I really appreciate animated stuff. And there was a lot of nice animated Batmans in the day. Um, yeah, so. The only thing I didn't really love about that was um, the web slinging. It looked fun, but from all the other games, I'm used to it being a lot faster. I don't know if you played the Amazing Spider-Man game. Two I have not. Both of them, web sling was terrible, whatever. But, it was really fast and fluid. It looked awesome. It was fun, it was the best thing to do with web sling, in my opinion. Even if it didn't connect to something, it would just go <laughs> into the air. But you would just fling. And Wilson told me that it actually, uh, worked better and it was smoother. I, I just took his, um, opinion because I didn't know about the other Spider-Man games, but now you bring well, this up. I'm used I, to being really, I'm used to being a lot faster, that's all. I'm sure okay. after, like, playing it for 20 minutes, it'll feel amazing, but just used to it being quick, that's all. So I'm just mostly interested in the story because when it comes to most games, I care about the story first. Then second the gameplay, but like, if gameplay becomes super bad, where you can't even progress with the game, then uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, then you can really get the story um feel for it. But yeah, I mostly look for for the story, then the gameplay, and the graphics too. Then the graphics, um, like if it comes to like very very like bad graphics, it's it's kind of hard for me to get more emotes to it because I I do enjoy high graphic games. But I care about the story Everyone more. Everyone does. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's um what I can remember, and that's what I had on my uh, paper. Do you have anything to um announce? The only little thing that I can think of right now that really blew people away was Wolfenstein Two. Oh shit! Yeah, I think I uh, I saw that a little. Yeah, yeah, I haven't played the first game, but it works pretty damn amazing. What was on the first game? I have not played the old Blood DLC, but I have the first game, and let me tell you, that game is fun as fuck. It, it was, it's funny too, because like, I tried to play it on my channel, like, years ago, no, three years ago, I think, and I, my PC couldn't want it. <laughs> it is just really fun. Like, the no, is pretty my, good. With my equipment, I mean, I, it could be better, but yeah, you could definitely record it now. Yeah, and 
I mean, it, it I, I, I remember playing with the, with, with, with my old bad PC, and I still enjoyed the gameplay a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, it was pretty nice. And the funny thing I like is just that you pick up helmets and you get armor. I'm pleased that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I just find that, like, you just put helmets all over your body. Yeah, it's just really hard, though. At least it was for me. Yeah, it, it, it had, like, all that ass impact to it and, uh, and all the cool, Stuff too. I remember, I, I think the last part I did was like part three, and that's when I got to like the chainsaw part or something. Chainsaw? And that's been a bit since I played, so I don't know. It was mostly beginning of the game, so. Yeah, but I, I guess I could play right now. I mean, here, let me just check. Real quick, I'm just going to check the, what kind of graphic card it requires. And, and I, feel, I just kind of wonder if I could play on the math settings. I would think you can. I mean, then again, if I can't, I'm in, I am getting new equipment, so I, I, I don't doubt I could, uh, play on that computer, so. Mm. Yeah, so th- th- this is gonna be pretty nice, because, uh, soon, after this video is uploaded, I'll be getting my, uh, new PC, and I'll be able to record all kinds of stuff, like Resident Evil 7. But then again, I do like to have a big crew with me, because I heard the game, it's scary, but also very funny, too, and it's just a blast to play with people. And Resident Evil 7? Yeah. Yeah, it's got some pretty funny moments in all honesty. It's not like meant to be funny, it's meant to be really creepy, but then you're just like, what is this? You saw some gameplay of it? I, I watched someone play the whole game. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's compatible with VR too, right? Yep. That's damn. terrible, but. I, I would play with VR if I had VR, but I just I can't afford VR. <laughs> Eight hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. It's three hundred. Three hundred for the PlayStation Four. Yeah. Wait, wait. I, I I'm please. You I'm don't thinking. need a vibe. I just I I I just like the expensive things. For the PC, I don't even think it'd be that much. It'd probably be about the same amount if you just got an Oculus and not a vibe. Let me see. Okay, it's like VR is pretty damn uh funny. Um, you know, cause uh. Uh, just, just me, like, it, it's so immersive, you know, like, cause it's right in front of your eyes, and you just, like, look around, and just, I don't know, we'll jump scare and be like, oh, fuck. So, oh, wow, god damn, I didn't realize this. So, yeah, Wolfenstein requires, well, a minimum is, uh, G- uh, GTS, uh, 460. Mm hmm. And just anyone, if anyone wants to know, I, I have a 760 right now, so damn, yeah, I could fucking play it. Um, the, the new computer I'm getting is a 1060, so I'd be, I should be able to play all kinds of other games. I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 7, uh, I checked the, the, um, the requirements, and it, it at least require a 1060, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, I, I should be able to play all kinds of games for a long time with a 1060. I doubt I need to upgrade to a 1080. For you know, I just want which PC time. did you get in Aurora or what? Uh, yeah, in Aurora or Sits. That's what I have. What I have the 460. I have the AMD 460, so it's pretty good. Okay. It's like a budget card. It's pretty good. I'm gonna play that card. Oh, I just want to check with you. Um, i5 and i7. It's it's not much of a difference, right? I sounds if you want to overclock maybe. Okay, so I still be able to uh, record and all, do all that kind of stuff with just the i5? Yeah, you should be fine. Ah, that, that's very nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So I think that's mostly all that we got to talk about. Um, what, what do you think? Nothing else about it? Yes. I, we mostly talk about E3, and we just talk a little about the future of my uh, channel, so... Yeah, I guess everything got covered. So, anyways, um, you, you could say your goodbyes. My goodbyes. Wait, was that your, your goodbyes or was that a question mark? No, no question mark. Okay. <laughs> True my sound. Alright, friends, one more thing that I forgot to mention. I was saving best for last. Um, so, Nicole, you, uh, saw the trial for Anthem, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, what are your thoughts about it? Because I really like it so far. 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping a lot, that it's not Mass Effect Andromeda again. Oh god, yeah. Definitely got a lot of potential, and I, I really believe it's probably going to be the Destiny killer, because <laughs> yeah, I was the insane. time it's going to be coming out is when it's like, Destiny 2's been out for a while, people are high level, and they don't really, they're getting bored of it, basically, and then Anthem's going to hit. Everybody's going to go to Anthem. So yeah, like, like there's so much stuff that I saw in the trial. I mean, from jetpacks to like, it seems mm-hmm. to be like open world, and you could also go underwater, and and I I just got mind blown. There was actually like underwater aspect of it too. Yeah, that was really cool. Open exploration is a big part of it. If it has RPG elements in it, I'll be even more sold on it. Like the loot system is pretty good. Yeah. I I just find it really crazy, like, the jetpacks, like, flying, like, through everywhere, because, like, that's kind of, like, a risk to most games, because, you know, flying out on the map or finding a grits is most likely to happen, but, like, if they actually pull this off, like, it, it'd be amazing, and and also, like, the part in the trail where there was, like, a monster, I think, and he just jetpack away <laughs> from it, <laughs> and I just, I, that's actually gonna be a cool element to do. Just like, so I'm this, not dealing with this today. <laughs> yeah. Like, just get my friends right there. And also, it seems that there might be at least four play co op. At least by the works of it. Yeah. And, um, I, I'm not sure if, if they could teleport to you, because it kind of looks like they saw on no wheel in the trailer. But yeah, might I, be I just, just like a squad thing. Yeah, I was just thinking. In a squad, you can teleport your members. That would make sense. Yeah. It's just how amazing I saw, like, there was so much, like, the world, and just seeing the underwater and stuff, it, it was, wow. I thought, like, maybe it would just be, like, a little, I don't know, like, a Sass Creed 4 or something like that, <laughs> I'm just thinking of, but, like, it looks so darn interesting. So they got stuff from, like, the, the regular map to the underwater map looking very nice. I kind of wonder how the... Um, how, like, how all kinds of stuff going to be, for example, or oh, actually, one more thing I need to talk about was the combat. The combat actually was pretty sweet. Just seeing stuff, like, swimming to the ground, and seeing missiles, like, to, like, multiple enemies. That was actually very sick, I admit. And, uh, but yeah, the, the thing with the jetpacks and stuff, I kind of wonder how they're going to be, in, like, in some levels, because I could imagine, you know, when you do, like, a story mode, or any kind of side mission, I I kind of wonder if if there's like a boundary you it has like can you fly away from uh from wherever the spot is and I I could imagine like if I just say it was inside like a base like underground or something then you know you can you can't really fly away but yeah I I mean the only thing I could really think of is, is that like blocking level from level is like doors and stuff like that yeah. Or like, you know, big mountains that you can't go over. Yeah, yeah. Like like your jetpack cannot fly that high or something. Like a limit. Pre- I just really nice. hope it's not closed in. Because if it's open world and you can do squads and just explore together, that'll be even better. I just hope they pull off the looting and like, because I, I don't want, you know, stupid stuff to happen where like there's a nice farming spot here and all the players just Hold it, for, hold it for themselves and stuff, and you can't really get any. Or, like, mm, or, you know, the security system is actually good, like, based on your level and gives you some nice stuff, and, and maybe you get lucky, you get something really powerful, whatever. But yeah, um, there's, there's a lot of stuff this game could hold, so, I really like it so far. So it's definitely a game that I'm probably going to get. I I just maybe want to hold back and see the reviews, see it actually is like open world and so on and so on. Any thoughts? Not that I can think of right now that you haven't already said. Just a lot of hope and if they mess this up, they're messing it up bad. I mean, the mo- like the worst possible thing that could happen is just glitches and glitches, like like you said, um, um, 
Mass Effect uh, Andromeda. Yeah. <laughs> I do, do you know, like, the full story of why that game was so gritty? No. Is well, there a reason? Yeah, there's actually a good reason. Um, throughout the years, this game was moved to different teams, and, and they had, each team used, like, different programs and stuff, and these programs couldn't really work well because, you know, this rebel was modded by a different program, and it, it just kind of messed everything up, you know what I'm saying? For example, it's like you're trying to op- open up a, um, a photo shop with a uh, drawing pro, I mean, not drawing pro, a editing program. So, yeah, I'm, so that, that, that wow, I, I, I can't remember, uh, why they moved it to different teams and stuff over the years or whatever, but, yeah, if, if they just have like one big team just focusing on, it on, you know, for yeah, these years. Yeah, I guess I can understand that a little bit now, but it was still just a laughing stock that they released that yeah it was like I, damn like it, it's like it's recent... like you're playing the early access of a game <laughs> it's, it's more like um like minecraft and you just have like old mods on it you know then again oh, yeah. it crashes the game and um ah oh, something else I, it was on my mind um Oh yeah, and that's part of the reason why it costs so much money because they just paid a lot of money to to, to this team. Then they, they just did all those stuff, and then and different team was assigned to it, and they got paid. They were sealed, just do all kinds of stuff, and so on, and so on. I just feel like that money kept adding up over the years because all, how much people had had been paid just to improve the game or add to it. What's I mean, it's, it's just, I find it so crazy, like, this wouldn't work if you try to, you know, use different programs than the program that was actually used to made these levels. I mean, you just know it's going to mess up and stuff, like. Yeah. I'm surprised how much it was just, I, you know what, you know what I feel like? I feel like the teams couldn't pass up the money, so that's why they just kept adding to it and, you know, get a job done. But yeah, that's um, that's my thoughts about Anthem and kind of like a backstory and thoughts on the Mass Effect drama. Yeah. Oh man, just, <laughs> what a mess. I I see I see the reason why why it, it got so bad and stuff, but like, wow, this this it's definitely a lesson to be won. Never never hold back a game too long and. You know, just and then this happens. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you need to focus on the game and don't let go of it. Because so, if another team works on your game, they won't. They have no idea what you did to this game. They don't know what programs you use. They, you know, it's just how, how would they know? <laughs> it's because different teams and so they use different programs for their games and and the games they're working on. Yeah, so. That's I that's everything I had to say. So this is the real outro here. So oh. <clears throat> I, was kind of, I was kinda of expecting a goodbye, but <laughs> Oh <laughs> still we just had this long silence. My goodbyes once more I am <laughs> stating <laughs> True Master double out. <laughs> and, when and when it comes to zombies, that's... This dude's got tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> Before you make weird toys. C4 charges, bear traps. <laughs>